Donna Bush. Glad you could join us for our CIG television news brief on this Friday. After his arrival to the Cayman Islands on Thursday morning, the Right Honorable Sir Lindsay Hoyle was welcomed to the governor's house for a reception in his honor. Government dignitaries and other invited guests attended the event. The well-attended event was hosted by Her Excellency Governor Jane Owen and Speaker of Parliament Sir Alden McLaughlin. Governor Owen and Sir Alden expressed appreciation for Sir Lindsay's visit to the islands, highlighting the ways in which it will help to strengthen UK Cayman bonds. It gives us a wonderful opportunity to support each other really, doesn't it, and to cooperate, whether it's in uh, areas about the economy or the environment or how we handle crisis or what we do about our security. You know, there are so many areas where we can really work together. But Sir Lindsay, thank you so much, not just for your visit here, but for your enduring support and love and respect for overseas territories. In almost 24 years in Parliament in Cayman, Sir Lindsay is the only, and I mean the only speaker that I have known of the Commons who has taken any real interest in the overseas territories and not just paid lip service to it, but has done tangible things, the most important of which I think, honestly, and forgive me for this perspective, is the establishment of the Overseas Territories Speakers Conference. Sir Lindsay engaged the audience with his lighthearted address, further demonstrating his passion for advocacy for the overseas territories. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. And to be the first speaker of the United Kingdom, of the House of Commons, to speak at a meeting of the House of Parliament. So I've got to thank you, Mr. Speaker. I've got to thank you for the invitation. And I've got to say, who would have thought it's taken all those years for a I'm the 158th Speaker of the House of Commons, and he's taking the 158 to actually turn up in the Cayman Islands. <laughs> Sir Lindsay continued his visit touring Grand Cayman early Friday. Huge congratulations today for Caymanian Olympic swimmer Jordan Crooks, who advanced to the men's 50-meter freestyle finals on Friday. The finals race was held on Friday at the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics. The young swimmer did not make a medal, but he won the hearts of Caymanians and fans around the world. Watch parties took place across the Cayman Islands on Friday, including right here at the Government Administration Building. Deputy Premier, the Honorable Andre Ebanks, had this to say about the young swimmer. The Cayman Islands has the eighth fastest 50 meter swimmer in the world. Enormous accomplishment to take the country and the Caribbean this far, and I still think he's not even near done. God bless you, Jordan. God bless you for your dedication, your passion, your skill, your determination with your craft. You've inspired not just persons in athletics, I think you've inspired the country to do better in all of each of what we do. During his Olympic performances, not only did Jordan Crooks set a new Cayman Islands long course record, but he is also the first swimmer to advance to an Olympic finals, and he is the second Cayman, Cayman Islands swimmer ever to advance to the semifinals in multiple events at the Olympics. We say a huge congratulations to Jordan Crooks. Let's have a look now at our weather uh, conditions for Friday. Uh, there's an increased chance in cloudiness and showers uh, today due to the passage of a tropical wave being enhanced by the development of potential tropical cyclone four over eastern Cuba. Tonight, there is a high 60% chance of showers with some thunder. Seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of two to four feet. The two day outlook is for a decrease in cloudiness and showers from Saturday evening as the tropical wave moves away from the Cayman Islands area. Remember to always check out the best source for uh, local weather uh, coverage, the Cayman Islands National Weather Services website and their Facebook page to look at our local weather conditions. If you just happen to be watching us on the Cayman Islands government's YouTube channel, remember to take a moment to just like, share and subscribe for the most accurate government news. I'm Donna Bush. Have a great weekend.